Federal agents and hundreds of first responders were called into action today as one of the city's most iconic symbols comes under threat. And thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palolo. So a man called 911 and threatened to blow up the Roebling Bridge. The bridge was shut down for hours today. WLWT News News Brian Hamrick live tonight with a story. So Brian, boy, this took up a lot of resources today. Yes, yeah, Sheree, police, fire, federal agents, the Coast Guard, both sides of the river. Streets were shut down. All as the oldest sibling of the Cincinnati skyline comes under threat. It's an historic symbol, so powerful without a single word. The Roebling Bridge says Cincinnati. It connects the two best parts of, right, Kentucky and Cincinnati. But just before sunrise, the bridge was connected to a crime. It's a bomb threat for the suspension bridge. All the streets were blocked off. We were going to call Cincinnati to have them shut down their side of the bridge. Every single street, like a mile out, was being blocked off. We want $400,000. He said, since we have not abided by his request, he's going to kill everyone. I was like, oh God, that's scary. The response brought out police, fire, federal agents, and all hundreds of first responders. The bridge had to be shut down. The Coast Guard closed the Ohio River. K-19 swept the bridge. No device was found. Even after it was reopened, people crossing were a little uneasy. Very, very much paying attention to what was going around on around me. There was a guy in front of me. He kept looking back. So I think both of us were in the same boat, not knowing should we really do this. Many are reminded of other fake threats recently at Kroger stores and even local schools. For some, it all meant less alarm. I had confidence because I feel like within the last year there has been a lot of bomb threats, especially even in downtown Cincinnati. So it's always been taken care of really quickly. The FBI is investigating as Cincinnati's witness to history turns another page. Yeah, so the FBI is saying they uh, released a statement. In part, it says we have found no information to indicate today's incident was a credible threat. It went on to say even a hoax threat is a crime. We asked the FBI, but no information on a suspect or if this is related to any of these other threats. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. All right.